Agent England, reporting in. Oh, there you are. How was your first day? Well, it turns out that the second victim, Carl, was up to something. And whatever they were doing, I'm sure it's somehow connected to the killings. Well, you got yourself one juicy case here. Those two lovebirds of yours just turned a double homicide into an anti-terrorism effort. Shit, you're right. Do we need to call for backup? Nah, you can always call in the local cops if anything big goes down. I suppose. So how active is the conduit these days anyway? From what I was taught at the academy, they're practically a non-threat now. Sure, we caught some of their head honchos, blew up a few strongholds, but it's hard to wipe out an ideology. All it takes is for a single book to remain in circulation, an idea to spring to life, and we're all back to square one. The relentless stance against those people always puzzled me. Or in our augs, technically, AI. Sounds like someone slept through the lectures on nanoscale distributed processing networks. I most certainly didn't. I just found it to be a bit of a gray area. <laughs> Well, your augs do not use CPU cores for processing. They rely entirely on your existing neurons. Right, and since the nanites essentially piggyback on my brain, they're classified as a procedural system. You got it, perfectly legal. Enough about that, let's get back to the case. Sure. I found a functional womb tank in the apartment at Mamir Road. It had a living unborn child inside. Oh, artificial wombs are highly illegal. I'll have to notify our superiors. There's more, Councilwoman. The tank fluid had traces of blue. Really? Now, how the hell did they get that? Any concentrated vials? Not that I could see. Be on the lookout. They might have a stash somewhere. I will. I wonder how the child fits into their agenda. Good question, ain't it? Wanna hazard a guess? It's gotta be some kind of experiment, right? Bingo. These people are fanatics. That's what they do. Hmm. So, what will happen to the child, then? That's not for you to worry about. I'll get word to the city, and they'll send someone within a week or so. Meanwhile, I'll have the apartment put under surveillance. I'll get someone discreet, in case the Lady of the Hour returns. Understood. So, what are your thoughts on the killer? One possibility is that this is simpler than we think. Just some kind of relationship drama. Could be. Either way, finding this gal who was hot and heavy with Carl should be your next task. Agreed. I'll do my best to track her down tomorrow. Good. Dismissed, Agent. Hey, pretty girl. Time to wake up. Huh? Who's that? It's me, silly. Who else? Were you expecting other men in your bedroom? Oh, Alex. I had the strangest dream. I was on a murder case far away. In Nordsund, of all places. Ooh, exciting. Was I there too? <sighs> no. You were gone. I didn't care much for that part. Well... I'm here now. I thought I'd check on how you're doing. Oh, you know me. Always trying to figure things out. Huh. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. Sorry for waking you. I just needed to hear your voice. That's all right. I'm gonna go back to sleep now. Good night, Alex. Good night, Vera. I thought dreaming of Alex was a thing of the past. Might as well get rid of some of that clutter from yesterday. No point in carrying all that junk around. Ugh, my head. Something is happening. Whoa, my eyes feel great. Everything looks so sharp and clear. Agent England. Good. You're up. Morning, gentlemen. We were just going to see if you were awake. 
there's been a freak accident of sorts. It's probably best for you to see for yourself. The timing is quite suspicious, given the recent murders. All right. Who is the victim? Leonard Dahl, the head of our new recycling center. He was killed sometime during the night. In a most gruesome manner, too. Gabriel will accompany you to the site. Very well. Let's be on our way, then. Oh, but before you go, Agent, did you cut up one of the murder victims? Dr. Pearson is quite upset with you. It was necessary. Dr. Pearson should prioritize the well-being of future murder victims over previous ones. All right, then, but please keep that sort of behavior to a minimum. Your jurisdiction doesn't mean you can do whatever you please. I'll show restraint in the future, Commissary. Let's go, Gabriel. Here we are. Have a look around. The man standing over there is our witness. Got it. I'll let you know if I need any help. Understood. I'll be here. Thank God you're here. Len... Len... Slow down. Relax. You're safe. We're here to help. Start at the beginning. <sighs> okay. The big organics processor. I woke up late last night, heard it fire up. I live next door, so I got dressed and walked in here. Leonard wasn't around, so I turned all the machines off. I went to look for him in his living quarters, but he wasn't there. I figured he was still out late with some of the guys and that the machines had sprung to life on their own somehow. I went back to bed and slept through the night. Didn't hear anything else. When I came back this morning to work just half an hour ago, Leonard was still gone. He's usually up and about way before my shift starts. I did a routine check of the organics processor and... and... that's when I noticed his... remains in there. The victim is inside that machine? Yes. Could it have been an accident? I don't know. God, I, I can't get it out of my head. Please, try to calm down. Could it have been an accident? It could, uh, maybe he fell down in the pipe, uh, and, uh, and uh, was torn to shreds. Oh, God, poor Leonard. It's no use. He's having a panic attack. Postmortem. This clearly wasn't an accident then. It was a disposal of a murder victim. I should try to get access to the remains behind the grinder. That looks like the ignition mechanism. I can see the yellow cable powering it. I have some more questions. Okay. So, tell me what you know about Leonard. He was my supervisor. I've been working for him for about a year now. Do you know anything about his private life? Ah. <sighs> He was kind of a quiet guy. He was strong as a horse. Fond of books, too. He liked books? What kinds? I don't know. All sorts. Maybe go check his room or something. I really didn't know him that well. How does the organics processor work? No, don't make me think about that death trap.
control panel for this machine. Looks turned off. All right, looks like these are the materials last put into the smelter. Various tools and lots of knives headed for recycling. Wow, I think I just found the weapon that killed Carl and Maya. Hmm, no DNA or prints. So this knife must have been thoroughly cleaned. Got the knife. This thing is used to transport metals to the smelter. It's filled with various junk. Leonard's bed, nothing out of the ordinary. This is probably where Leonard handled all of the paperwork. Mostly history books and some fictional novels. About half filled with God knows what. Pretty stinky. This says the machine works by grinding down organics into smaller chunks and then burning them to create biogas. The control panel here can be used to retract the grinding gears and access the chamber, but the system waits for the latest batch to be incinerated first. Okay, the yellow cable is disconnected now. I think that retracted the grinding gears. There was a small key among the remains. It must have been in the victim's pocket. Ugh, this is quite a mess. I'm not equipped to deal with this. I'll have to ask Dr. Pearson to come here and gather the body parts. Hey, Gabriel. Yeah? I've managed to secure the body. You're free to leave and get back to your other duties. The remains are in quite bad shape, so I think it's best if Dr. Pearson collects them. Roger that, ma'am. I think the doctor has some medical emergency this morning, but he should be able to take care of it today or tomorrow. Good. Tell him to bring it all to the morgue. Will do. I'll go find him right away. C can I leave too? I really need to go get a drink. I suppose. I'll call for you if I come up with any more questions. I don't see any- Hi, honey. No, no. Wait, what? It wasn't a dream? I must be going crazy. The blue is messing with my head. Uh, that's one way to say hello. You doing okay there, darling? Not really, Alex. How can I help them? This is weird for me, too. I have no idea. It's so strange seeing you like this. Well, I'm here now. Maybe we should just try to make the best of it. I guess so. Great. So, uh, how are you doing? Really? Oh, you know, keeping it together somehow. I thought taking on this case would give me a chance to get away from everything. I get that. We went through a lot. Yeah, you can say that again. Well... I'll let you get back to the case. Let's talk later, all right? Okay. I must be losing my mind. A mural depicting some kind of abstract art. Hey there. Hi. Whoa, badass coat. Oh, thanks. Got it a week ago. Right on. You need to get some patches and stickers and shit for it, too. Give it some personality. I might just do that. So, you're some kind of artist. Yeah? What do you think? It reminds me of a fractal pattern. Huh. <laughs> That's an interesting take.
Not sure where that door leads. Some fairly advanced solar panels. Those alone should be capable of powering up several blocks. A light beacon marking the northern edge of the town disk. The junk piles extend some half a mile into the empty eastern part of town. I doubt they're being added to, though. Nordson residents seem conscientious about recycling. I don't have a reason to visit the junk heap right now. An anatomically correct gentleman. Nice, soothing sounds. Howdy, Pilgrim, and welcome to Valter's Bot Emporium. Novelty bionics, pet androids, robotic companions, we've got them all. Hi there. I'm Special Agent Vera Anglin. Ooh, here to solve the murders, right? Uh... What? Did Pop spill some oil when he lubed my joints this morning? I told you to keep my chassis clean in case of chicks! <sighs> For crying out loud, Nissa, just let the police lady ask her questions. Oh, great. A ventriloquist act. Oh, no, she's on to us! Fine! You caught me! The man with the blue hat is just a puppet that I'm cunningly controlling with a set of strings. That's a gosh darn lie. I'm fully steam powered. This is inappropriate behavior, citizen. I have some questions about the recent murders. Sure thing, officer. Just keep in mind that all of these are just harmless automatons. There's no real CPUs or nothing around here. I'm not here to report illicit technology. I'm just interested in the killings. All right, then shoot. Uh, I mean, ask away. Ever see this key before? Nope, first time. It, uh, looks really nice. Nah, I don't want to scare the poor guy. Do you know anything about this book? Wow, a conduit book. That's crazy illegal, right? Yep. Terrorist propaganda. Ever seen anything like it? Never. I love my robots. Don't get me wrong, but those people are quite unhinged. Wouldn't go near them. Maybe you already have. The Nordson cell has been hiding in plain sight. Creepy. You better go catch them fast, then. Nah, I don't... Any idea what this key opens? Sure. I saw a small safe in the junk with a key just like it a while back. It disappeared later. Good to know. Thanks. Do you recognize this young couple? Just the man, Carl Oscarson. Can't see who his lady friend is. Do you know about the murder of Carl Oscarson? Oh, yeah, poor Carl. He was a friendly guy. Came here buying spare parts every now and then. Spare parts? Like what? All sorts. Filters, tubes, nuts and bolts, various electrical gizmos. Ah, uh, yeah. I think I found what he needed them for. Really? What was it? A water tank of sorts, but that's all I can say. All those parts laying around, but do I ever get a working left arm, Pops? No, you'd rather let some carpenter assemble a goddamn aquarium. I could replace Mr. Limpy with a water gun if you prefer. Man, soon you'll even let the kids paint a clown face on me again. With a water gun for an arm, at least you could spray yourself clean afterwards. Heh. <laughs> so I take it you have no idea who killed Carl? None whatsoever. Wrong place, wrong time, maybe. He didn't seem like the type of guy to make enemies, anyhow. What do you know about the murder at the museum, Maya Strand? I don't know anything about the attack, but I worked with her from time to time. Some of my handiwork can be seen in her exhibitions. Ah, they got some robots in there. Yeah, I assembled them from parts I found in the junkyard. Or the bot cemetery, as I like to call it. 
Sometimes I feel more like an archaeologist than a mechanic. Got it. So, do you have any idea who killed Maya? Ooh, I got a theory. No, Nissa, it wasn't the big war robot in the main exhibition. Why not? That thing is huge. It could easily rip people to pieces, or buildings for that matter. I know because I built it, Nissa. It's totally harmless. I don't buy it, Pops. It's got red eyes. That's a telltale sign of a bot turned evil. <sighs> what I wanted to say was that Maya could be a little odd, but I have no reason to believe anyone would want to kill her. Pops calling others odd. Now that's a joke that requires no punchline. Walter, try to focus on the subject matter, please. What do you think of the conduit? Lunatics, plain and simple. I'm surprised to hear you say that, given what you do for a living. Sure, I may seem like the kind of guy who would meddle with AI, but you have to remember that these are just puppets and dolls. That's true. I'm not really a robot. We just pretend I am. That's right, my lad. My family was almost wiped out in the collapse. I wouldn't betray their memory by supporting those nutjobs. I guess you heard what happened in the recycling center. Yeah, I don't know much about it, but man, people dropping dead left and right like this? It's getting real scary out there. What's your opinion on Gabriel, the policeman? He's an asshole. That's what. Nessa thinks that guy is robophobic. Don't ask. Do you know who Katarina Berg is? She might also go by the name Melinda. Melinda sounds familiar, but I can't really place her. Sorry. I'm terrible with names, though. More of a visual thinker. What's your opinion on Anderson, the police commissary? Seems like a reasonable man to me. But then again, I tend not to be involved in, you know, crime. Yeah, right. Hush, boy. What's your opinion on Stina Ruth, the councilwoman? A politician? Me and those kinds of people run in quite different circles, to say the least. What do you think of Dr. Pearson? Quirky guy, but he means well. Sometimes he asks me to come over and help with the kids. Oh yeah? Help how? Usually by playing doctor and patient with Nyssa. It helps calm down the little ones. Huh, that's clever. Did you know Leonard Dahl? A little. He came by every now and then, buying things for the recycling center. We've been talking about automating some of the work there. Yeah? Anything out of the ordinary about him? I wouldn't say so. He was a quiet, nice guy. A real shame what happened to him. So, what can you tell me about yourself? Me? Oh, well, what you see is what you get. A crazy old fart with chronic coffee breath? Oh, quiet, you little rascal. What I am is a tinkerer, a craftsman, a father of machines. I cherish building them. I adore putting them on display, and I especially love talking to them. I've noticed. So how long have you been building robots? Oh, uh, ever since I was a boy. I grew up over at the junkyard. The place was cramped with old discarded robots. I didn't have many friends, you see. So, I decided to befriend these machines instead. I'm off. See you later. Take care. Bye-bye, police lady. What did people use the crab for? Once upon a time, this was the most popular kitchen model. This fella could take care of any food-related task. Except the handling of shellfish, obviously. Even robots have moral standards. Cute little robot. What does this little guy do? Clean. Like a mean machine. <laughs> he doesn't look very mean. Looks can be deceiving. He's nothing but vicious towards stains, dust, and all of their ilk. What does the pointy little bot in the back do? Oh, a bot of many talents. Paperweight, table lamp, pestle, or perhaps a fashionable baton? The only limit is your imagination. Guess that belongs with the head up front. 
What does that tube-looking robot do? That's no robot. It's just my teapot. Not everything with lights on is a robot, you know. Gee, some people. Is the big guy in the back your mascot or something? You mean Ufa? Nah, he's more of a concierge. He's sophisticated like that. What's up with the head? What do you mean? You think it's too big? The robot head on the table, that is. Oh, yeah, it keeps coming off. I'll fix it eventually.